Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. Surprise, Mrs. Carmichael. <laughs> and how did we manage to get to work on time for once? Well, I think my clock's broken. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Hello, Lucy. Well, get to work on these right away, please. Well, can I have my coffee first? No, you can't have your coffee first. You just got here. Now, please, get to work. Get to work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <sighs> Mrs. Carmichael, turn that radio off! What is that thing doing here? Well, you see, Mr. Mooney, uh, when I was in high school, I always played the radio while I did my homework, and and and, and now that it's, it's hard for me to concentrate with so much quiet going on. <laughs> I didn't know they had radios when you went to high school. Well, Mr. Mooney, well now you keep that nice. thing off and you get to work at once. Right. You hear me? Good heavens, Mr. Oh, uh, good morning, Mr. Cheever. <laughs> How are you, Sam? Not very well. Oh, what's wrong, sir? Well, at the meeting last night, it was brought to my attention that our branch is lagging and they're getting a new account. It is? Yes, and it was suggested that perhaps this branch was a bit overstaffed. One vice president too many, to be exact. Oh? And as a vice president, I hope that you can read between the lines, Mr. Mooney. Oh, Mr. Cheever, sir, are you inferring that unless I get some new accounts... Well, I'm... congratulations. At least you can read. <laughs> oh, my. I've never seen him so upset. How does he expect me to get new accounts? Drag people in off the streets? I don't know why he blames me for everything that goes on around well, here. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. Well, you better worry about it. <laughs> You just remember, if I go, you go. Now, I'll be in my office. I don't want to be disturbed. No, sir. And that, folks, was the latest hit from the nation's number one country singer, Homer Higgins. And here's a little news for you Homer Higgins fans. Homer is about to become a California citizen. He arrives in town this morning and will check into the penthouse suite of the luxurious Palm Garden Hotel. Now, that's eating pretty high in the hog for a country boy. <laughs> and he should be eating high in the hog because the music industry has estimated that Homer's income this year will exceed $5 million. Wow. wow. And now, folks, we... Right. <laughs> Dolly, I'm going out. I'll be back as soon as I can. But what about work if mr mooney comes back and you're not here won't he be angry no not when he hears about the big new account i got lined up for him <laughs> Sweet satisfactory. <laughs> Ain't this pretty, Effie? Well, it looks like an awful big place to keep clean. Why didn't we take that little room we was just in? That was the elevator. <laughs> this penthouse apartment gives you a magnificent view overlooking Los Angeles. Have mercy on us all. <laughs> On a clear day, you can see Catalina. Well, from what I hear, that's a mighty rare sight. Catalina? No, a clear day in Los Angeles. <laughs> Any 
Anything else, sir? Uh, oh, uh, uh, no, no, thank you, but just a minute. Uh, just a minute, sir. Here's a tip for you. <laughs> oh, no. thank you, sir. And all right. I hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, hold on there just a minute. You've been awful nice to us. And Effie, give this nice man some of your duck gizzards. Oh, uh, sure thing. Give him a whole wad. Here you are. Uh, They're awful good, fried and hog lord. <laughs> oh, and by the way, uh, at the end of the week, take out what we owe you. Yes, sir. All right, fine. Oh, by the way, if there's any left, why, uh, treat your carnation to a sack of fertilizer. I oh. think <laughs> I, uh, I heard on the radio that you were moving here today, and I thought I'd stop by and welcome you. And... Well, ain't that nice, Effie? Oh, it sure is. Come in and make yourself to home. Yes, come Thank on you. in. Uh, uh, I, I want you to meet my kin folks. Well, get up. Come, Miss Come. Uh, this, is, this is my wife, Effie. Hello. Howdy. And that's her brother, Effie. <laughs> Uh, yes, and he was born ahead of her, and his folks call him Effie, because uh, if he was a girl, they was going to name him Effie. Oh. Well, how do you do? Uh, glad to meet you, Effie. My name is Lucy. Lucy Carmichael. Howdy, Miss Lucy. Gee, you got hair the color of orange juice. Orange juice? Yeah, and I bet a girl as pretty as you must get squeezed a lot. <laughs> Only when the bus is crowded. <laughs> you sure are pretty. <laughs> uh, down, if down, if, uh, down. Well, since if his pet skunk died last year, he's gotten girl-minded. Uh. <laughs> Would you like to come in and rest yeah. your feet a spell? Thank you. Go right ahead. Oh, if he come on, help me yeah. with the unpacking. Now, the bear. Oh, come on, come on. Get along, get along. Get, get. Bye, Miss Lucy. Bye. Pick up your feet, boy. Pick up your feet. Get on, get on. Oh, that boy. That boy is about as useful as a milk bucket under a bull. <laughs> Would you like some Effie Sassafras tea? Well, thank you, but uh, before I accept your hospitality, Mr. Higgins, I, I think I should explain that my visit is not entirely social. It is not? No, not exactly. You see, well, the truth is, well, uh, what I'm trying to say is, if, uh, well... Why don't you stop spitting on the handle and get to hoeing? Uh, <laughs> how's that? Say what you come to say, ma'am. Oh, oh, well, you see, uh, I really came here to talk business. Mm -hmm. I work for a bank, Mr. Higgins, and, well, I, I, I came to see if we could handle your account. Well, frankly, ma'am, I don't cotton much to banks. Oh, well, Mr. Higgins, uh, banks are uh, very necessary, especially to a man with your income. You know, a bank offers advice on financial investments, and, well, I just think a person should put his money into something. Oh, I do, ma'am. I, I do. Uh, in boxes. You mean... You mean all these boxes are full of money? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Yeah, you know, I keep them in boxes. Oh, for heaven's sake, you mean you, you carry your money around with you all the time? Well, not all of it, ma'am. I had to leave a whole mess of it at home. We run out of boxes. <laughs> well, Mr. Higgins... My, you, you certainly make a lot of money with your singing and your records. Uh, and you know, I also write all my own songs. You do? Yes, ma'am. You want to see me make up a folk song about you right now, just like that? Well, I sure would. All righty, bye. <laughs> I didn't know you composed yeah. your own songs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fell in love with a pink-haired gal. <laughs> Fell in love with a pink-haired gal. Fell in love with a pink-haired gal. She fell in love with me. Well, is that it? Yeah. 
Well, that's very clever. Well, that, that last line didn't come too easy. Oh, well, it was very good, that last line. Well, you were the inspiration. Oh, really? That's right, and if that's ever a hit, I owe you a favor. Oh, well, uh, the, uh, the biggest favor you could do for me, Mr. Higgins, is let me introduce you to my boss, Mr. Mooney. He's the banker I work for. No offense to you, ma'am, but I feel like a worm in hot ashes around them big city bankers. Well, Mr. Mooney's not a big city type banker. He, he comes from real down to earth country folk. He does? Yeah, yeah. He grew up on a farm, and, and, and uh, he, all his kin were farmers, and all his kin's kin. Sounds like my kind of folk. Oh, I, I just know that Mr. Mooney is the type of banker that you'd cotton to. Well, I tell you what you do. You bring this Mr. Mooney over here so that it, we can at least have a howdy and a handshake. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Higgins. All right. Oh, I'll bring him over right away. All right. And I just know that you and Mr. Mooney are going to hit it off like two pigs in a poke. Uh, oh, all right. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Mr. Higgins, uh, I'd like you to meet my boss, Mr. Mooney. <laughs> well, you sure don't look like no banker. I don't feel like one either. My <laughs> cracky! Oh, uh, come on in and meet my kin, folks. Yeah. Come right on. Come right on. Uh, this is my wife, Effie. Howdy. Uh, howdy. Hello, Miss Lucy. Hello, hello. And uh, that's her brother, Iffy. Iffy? Uh, yes, you see, they named him Iffy because if he was a girl, they were going to name him Effie. That's right. <laughs> hey, y'all are just, y'all are just in time to tie on the feed bag. Oh? Come on in. Come on. Come right on. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> around with him all the time. <laughs> Y'all hungry? Oh, well, um, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm, something smells mighty inviting, Mrs. Higgins. Oh, just call me Effie. And I'm Homer. <laughs> and I'm Theodore J. Uh, the J stands for uh, Joshua. Uh, his friends and kin call him Josh. Well, that's a mighty fitting name. You know, you look like a Josh. <laughs> Yeah, look. Effie, how's the fiddles coming? Oh, done to a turn. Oh, fine. Sit down, Miss Lucy, and you too, Josh. Sit right down. Thank Say, you. you folks sure got this place looking mighty comfortable. Well, well you know, uh, speaking of comfort, do you, do you mind if I take my shoes off? Not at all. Oh, thank you. I never could get used to these darn things. Well, <laughs> and if you have anything to loosen, ma'am, just let her pop. <laughs> Here you are, Mr. Mooney. Oh, uh, thank you. And here you are, Miss Lucy. Oh, now, thank this you. here is Effie's favorite recipe. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Well, uh, Effie calls it rib stick and stew. It's just chock full of boiled deer liver, turnip greens, hog jowl, spack back, and sow belly. Come on, folks. Eat up. Hook her down now. <laughs> oh, you know, man sure is lucky to have a woman that's got a gift for cooking. Your wife cook anything that tastes like this? Everything my wife cooks. <laughs> well, then I take it your Mrs. Mooney is a girl with country rearing. <laughs> Acres of it. Oh. <laughs> that, that, that fact. Yeah. I see. You know something? Back in Cedar Creek County, Mrs. Mooney was a champion hog caller. <laughs> she were? Yeah, that's how she got Mr. Mooney. Uh. <laughs> well, you know, Effie, I reckon we won't be getting homesick here in California knowing people like Josh and his missus. Yeah, I hope we'll be seeing a lot of each other, Josh. Well, no reason why you shouldn't if you come to my office to do your banking chores. Oh, sounds mighty fine to me. Well, now, wait a minute, bucket mouth. Don't you go get any <laughs> Now, I take the old Josh here, but the big city banks is something else again. 
Oh, but, 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 Miss Higgins, our bank isn't at all like a big city bank. It's as, it's as homey as gravy on a tablecloth. And all the people that work there are, are just like old Josh here, neighborly, country-reared folk. Sounds like a dinger of a bank. Well, maybe we could go down there a little while this afternoon and look the place over. Oh, uh, instead of this afternoon... <laughs> uh, why don't you come down uh, tonight uh, after the bank is closed? After you're closed? Uh, yeah, tonight, tonight we have our, our weekly hoedown. Hoedown? <laughs> Once a week, us folks like to have a little get-together, and I just know old Josh would love to have you join us. Why, me and Effie take the hoedowns like a hog takes the slob. <laughs> oh, wonderful, wonderful. Well, now, it's the West Lang Bank, and it's right down the street. Come on, Mr. Mooney. We have to get back to the bank for your appointment. Oh, well, well me and Effie will sure look forward to this. Yeah, well, and more than that, oh, yeah. we'll, uh, yeah. most of all, we'll be looking forward to meeting Mrs. Mooney. Uh, yeah, well, uh, Mrs. Mooney. Uh, Mrs. Oh. Mooney will be looking forward to meeting you, too. You be sure and show up now. Oh, don't you worry, ma'am. We'll be there fit as a tiddly and ready to wink. All right, bye, y'all. <laughs>
there's gonna be banjo picking and the fiddler will be there. You like our cornbread and sweet molasses and pretty gals with ribbons in their hair. The gals will dress in calico with their fancy lace and buttons and bows. So all you fellas get gusset up in your Sunday go to meet and clothes. Mr. Cricket, keep on a chirping. Mr. Moon, keep shining bright. At the ladies' auxiliary barn dance Saturday night. There's gonna be singing. There's gonna be dancing. There's gonna be banjo picking. And the fiddler will be there. you like our cornbread and sweet molasses. And pretty gals with ribbons in their hair.
Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. Surprise, Mrs. Carmichael. <laughs> and how did we manage to get to work on time for once? Well, I think my clock's broken. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Hello, Lucy. Well, get to work on these right away, please. Well, can I have my coffee first? No, you can't have your coffee first. You just got here. Now, please, get to work, get to work. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> What is that thing doing here? Well, you see, Mr. Mooney, uh, when I was in high school, I always played the radio while I did my homework, and and and, and now that it's it's hard for me to concentrate with so much quiet going on. I didn't know they had radios when you went to high school. Mr. Mooney, well, now you not keep that thing nice. off and you get to work at once. All you right. hear me? Good heavens, Mr. Mooney! Oh, oh uh, good morning, Mr. Cheva. <laughs> How are you, Sam? Not very well. Oh, what's wrong, sir? Well, at the meeting last night, it was brought to my attention that our branch is lagging in the getting of new accounts. It is? Yes, and it was suggested that perhaps this branch was a bit overstaffed. One vice president too many, to be exact. Oh? And as a vice president, I hope that you can read between the lines, Mr. Mooney. Oh, Mr. Cheva, sir. Are you inferring that unless I get some new accounts... Well, I'm... congratulations. At least you can read. <laughs> oh, my. I've never seen him so upset. How does he expect me to get new accounts? 